fellow YouTube MRE reviewer and good friend RC Gusto sent me a package. This guy's awesome. All right, like, sent me a surprise package. You know, he just started off doing YouTube videos of doing MRE reviews, and he's already really good. I can't imagine how he's going to be doing in like a month or two and what kind of new videos he'll have up. I do know that um, he's getting a, quite a variety of international rations in the mail, and he already has a nice variety. He just did like five or six reviews in the past like 10 days or something like that. He's got a great output and an excellent attitude about it. He's just a super nice guy, RC Gusto. You gotta check this dude out. And this is nicely packed. He sent me this package. Let's see what we got going on here. Huh. You know these peanuts, I'm gonna reuse these things in packing. Send off a package to somebody. Okay, wow, look at this. Hey. It says, <laughs> meat. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> mystery meat, eh? Hey, JSDF2. Right on, man. That's awesome. Dude, that's... And I believe that's it, but, man, that's... Yeah. So we got ourselves a JSDF2. Dude, RC Gusto sent me a Japanese self-defense force ration. Dude, that's awesome, RC Gusto. Right on, man. Thank you so much. Dude, let's see what this thing is. All right, so with the translator, it says combat rations type 2, meat dumplings, content goods, shirameshi, without opening the outer bag, described in the description, delivery time years, lower in gomoku fried rice. So I'm guessing it's gomoku fried rice, meat dumplings. So that sounds awesome. Yeah, nice. We're going to check this thing out here. Dude, RC Gusto is the man. He's a super nice guy. I'm so glad he got into the um, MRE reviewing community. Oh, nice. Look at this. So here's the meat dumplings. Fried rice. Regular rice. Trusty spork. All right, so now let's boil it up. All right, we got that nicely heated up. Seems like it's ready to go. And I'm also going to be including with the uh, white rice a dried bonito and mirin fioricake. So, that'll be cool. So, like, let's just start with the, um, the white rice, which actually, yeah. And these things are interesting how difficult it is to open up that full tab. There we go. Wasn't so bad, actually. Cool. Check out that fried rice. <laughs> We'll get this in parts here. All right. Check out the fried rice. That smells awesome. The fried rice smells pretty complex and just has a nice body to it. It's not going to be bland, I'll say that. Oh, now that smells fantastic. The dumplings. Here, let's get a good look at that. Mmm. Nice. What I'm going to do is I am going to put the white rice out onto the tray. Here. Let's do it right. It's really stuck to there. It's a nice sticky rice. Well, you gotta cook this properly, otherwise it'll be hard and it will not taste right. So you gotta you gotta boil it in that uh you gotta boil it or put it in one of those Japanese SDF heaters. Let's actually put this out on here, on the one side. I'd like to try the furikake out on the other. Ooh, look at that nice, rich, slightly glossy, amber-toned juices. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'd actually like to put this out on the tray, too. Oh, that came out easily. Nice. And put a little on this as well. Such a simple ration, but it's to the point and seems effective. High carbohydrate content. Let's do a little on this as well. Oh, a little overflow, but that's okay. 
It looks very nice. Let's check out the furikake. Oh, it has a nice dried fish smell to it. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, that's going to be bursting with flavor. Before we start digging in, let's get a nice look. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, thanks again, RC Gusto. Everybody, check out RC Gusto's channel and subscribe to him. He's going to be putting out some really good material throughout the coming weeks and months. He's really into it. And I like his enthusiasm. And his reviews are really nice. So far, they're relaxing. V very much of a G. Schultz kind of feel to it. Which is always cool. Look at that dumpling and rice. It almost has like a light gravy. Mm. And that very much is. They're like beef meatballs. But very tender. Oh, I can't stop eating it. It's just absolutely delicious. Mmm. Let's try out that fried rice on its own. Check that out. Looks like there's a little bit of meat in there. You see that? It kind of tastes like pork in there. Yeah. I think that's pork. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh yeah, that's just like a savory good on its own. That didn't need the furikake. That's perfect on its own. Let's try it with the beef or meat dumplings. Still not exactly sure what kind of meat it is. My apologies on that. It doesn't even say on the translation. It just says meat dumplings. Oh, that's even better than with the white rice. Absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because on the translation it says meat dumplings. So we're not exactly sure what kind of meat it is here, but that's okay. Isn't that so nice looking? Furikake really is, oh my gosh, seaweed and it tastes like I'm eating fresh fish. It doesn't even taste like rice anymore. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. Thank you again, Takashi, for sending me that furikake. The Japanese sure do know how to improve their sticky rice and um, it enhances the flavor. Let's try a little everything here. Oh, this is going to be nice. Oh yeah. This stuff goes good with anything, I, I presume. JSDF2. Gomuku fried rice and meat dumplings from RC Gusto. The new ration reviewer. Check out RC Gusto's page. He also has a JSDF2 video right now up. His was uh, mackerel and duck. So, two different entrees. If you guys ever get a chance to try out Fiorikake, give it a shot. It goes so well with white sticky rice. And look at that. Oh man. The meat dumplings. Amazing. Alright, hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. And um, we'll come back at you with something soon here. Cool. See ya.